Welcome to Network Marketing Pro. My name is Eric Worre, and this week, we're gonna talk about five steps to unlimited prospects. I remember when I first got involved in the network marketing profession, I was so stressed out about asking myself the question every single day, do I know anybody, do I know anyone? And, and when I, since I was so young, just 22 years old, most of the people I knew didn't have any money, they were not really thinking entrepreneurially, they were thinking about trying to get to the weekend, and because of that, I, was, I made my little written list, and I went out to my list with a lot of anxiety and not much skill, and I started to drain the list. My best prospects said no, and I started to go down the list, and as my list got smaller and smaller, my anxiety got higher and higher. You see, what I thought in network marketing was that the number of people you had on the list and the quality of those people that you had the day you joined, in other words, this, this database of relationships, that was going to determine your success or failure in network marketing. If you had a good list, a good group of people, good contact, good relationships, then you're going to have a huge business in network marketing. And if you didn't, or you lived in a small town, or you just... You know, you hadn't developed that skill yet. You weren't that social. Maybe you're more introverted like me. If you didn't have that big list of contacts, then your chances were slim to none. And what I've learned over the course of the last 28 years is that's not true. Successful people in network marketing look at finding prospects as a skill. Most of the people that they involve in their business, they met after they got involved in network marketing. As a matter of fact, ask your leadership, people who are high earners in your company, how many of the people that they personally have sponsored into their business, how many of them did they know prior to getting involved in the business, and how many did they meet after they got involved in the business? What you're going to see is the vast majority of those people involved and in, in sponsored into network marketing were met after that person got involved with their company. In other words, their past list was not the key to their success. It was their skill moving forward at developing their prospect list, the developing relationships with those people that mattered the most. So today I'm going to give you five steps. So you have unlimited prospects, kind of a short course on never running out of people to talk to about your network marketing product or opportunity, okay? The first step on the list, which you may have already started, is to create what I like to call an active candidate list. This isn't just a list of 20 people you scrawl on the, on the back of an envelope. This isn't 40 people that you write down on your legal pad. This is every single person you know or have ever met that you could ever remember as if you're getting paid $1,000 a person for every person you were putting on the list. How many could you put on the list? And there's lots of strategies to, to jog your memory and to remember the people that you know and start there, okay? So first thing we're going to do is we're going to empty our minds out on paper. As best we can, we're going to take it out of our mind and we're going to put it on paper as best we can and as comprehensive as we can. And I've got a free resource for you today. I created it a few years back. It's called The Ultimate Memory Jogger. It's a workbook that I'm going to give you a link to download for free. Um, and in that workbook, I give you some training on finding prospects. I give you some scripts on what to say when you talk to prospects. And I give you a huge list of categories to help jog your memory and think about the resources that you have and the people that you could add to your list, okay? Okay. Um, the link for that is networkmarketingpro.com forward slash memory jogger. Networkmarketingpro.com forward slash memory jogger. It's my gift to you. I hope you take advantage of it because it's really a great tool. You can download it, use that as a resource to start with step number one, um, creating that active candidate list. And the reason why I call it active is step number two is to constantly expand your list. 
What do I mean by that? It's not just who you know today. It's who you're going to meet. It's who you're going to run into. It's who you're going to connect with. Constantly expand your list. Set yourself up to a discipline. And here's one of the best disciplines I can, as far as strategies I can give you. Two a day. Every day, make sure you add at least two people to your active candidate list. You might meet those people online. You might find those people from some social group. You might remember somebody. You might bump into somebody walking the dog. You might, somebody might give you great service at a restaurant, wherever it is. Friend them up, connect with them on Facebook, whatever. They, they don't have to be prospected the moment that you meet them. They just have to build a connection and start to build a relationship. So you can start to build trust, you can start to build belief, and then when the time is appropriate, you can share with them your product and your opportunity. So step number two is to constantly expand your list, okay? Step number three is to raise your awareness. What do I mean by that? What I mean is this, when you get out there in the world, a lot of times we run into so many people that could be incredible for our business, would be natural product users for our product or service, and we don't even see them. Our awareness is so, so shut down, our social circle is so locked that we're not even aware that the person who gave us good service at the restaurant, we didn't even look them in the eye. We didn't even find out what their name was. You know, the person gave us great service selling us shoes. We didn't even say hello. We just barked some orders. We got our shoes and we left. We're constantly presented with opportunities to make a connection with other people in the world. And it's your job to raise your awareness, expand your mind, and get outside of your tiny little circle of five or six friends and your family members and start to uh, uh, expand your awareness. It's really a key skill set. You see the top earners in network marketing, they're expanding their awareness. They're always looking for opportunities. It's not they're, they're not predators. They're not handing out business cards at funerals, right? They're constantly raising their awareness to connect with another human being and build a relationship. And not even so much because they, they, they want to get that person to join their business, because they collect friends. You know, they live a big life. And as an introverted person, I've been an introverted person my whole life. As an introverted person, I have to remind myself to get out of my own head and to be a citizen of the world. I have to remind myself to raise my awareness that there are other people that I could easily make a connection with and hopefully help um, and serve in some way. So step number three is raise your awareness. So the first three steps so far, build an active candidate list constantly expand that list and raise your awareness. Now, step number four is another mental mindset. And that's as you are looking at the world, as you're building your list, as you're expanding it, as you're raising your awareness, don't ever prejudge. It's so easy for us to say, this person is not a candidate because they don't have any money. This person is not a candidate because they have too much money, they're too successful. This person's not a candidate because they're busy doing other things. This person wouldn't want the product uh, because whatever reason you think. You don't know what's going on in another person's world. You just don't. You could have met people, you could have talked to people already in the last seven days that you have totally pushed outside of your circle of possibility of even being a prospect. And yet, they're, they may be praying tonight, searching for an opportunity to be able to lat latch onto and sink their teeth into and go to work with. You don't know. You don't know if that rich person is bored out of their mind. You don't know if that person who works in the corporate world is looking for a challenge. You don't know if, if a person who looks successful is, is stressing out about not being able to pay for one of their kids' college. You don't know. What's going on? You can't see inside of the heart and mind of another person. You have to give them an opportunity. So it's really important that you never prejudge. I have a cousin, and his name is Steve, and he was a pastor. He was a preacher. He traveled around and he was preaching. 
And I never even put him and his, he, he had some brothers that were involved in, in ministry work. And so all these cousins, I never even thought, not once, to talk to them about network marketing. Back in the early days, never even thought about it. Never even crossed my mind. Well, guess what? They were looking for opportunity. They were tired of being on the road and doing what they were doing. Even though they loved the ministry, they were tired of that particular aspect of what, what was going on in their life. And they joined a network marketing company without me even knowing. And guess what? Today, they're a top 10 earner in a billion dollar company. And I never even, it never, I, I totally and completely prejudged them. And how much do you think that cost in income and, and, and possibility? For, just for me, I promise you, you have a situation like that. You have somebody you think is too cool for this. Somebody you think is too successful for this or not successful enough, you never know when a person is ready to make a change and is looking for opportunity. Our job is not to convince people to do things. Our job is to give people an opportunity. And you can't give people an opportunity if you prejudge what they're going to do with it. So that's number four. Number five is, is really important, especially for if you're a person who has your little routines. Number five is network on purpose. Network on purpose. That means join some new groups. Expand your horizons. Join a networking group in your local community and serve people within that community and get to know people. Volunteer for charities and causes. You can't believe the number of people and influential, powerful people that you can meet by volunteering and helping raise money for charities, etc. working in, within your local community. If you have hobbies, expand those hobbies. Join some social groups. Join a new health club. Get out of your house and get connected with your local community. And meet the people there. Connect with the people there. Network with the people there. You'll build friendships, you'll build relationships, and you will have natural ability to be able to talk to them about your product or opportunity. If you don't get out of your house, if you just sit there all day long, it's difficult to be a citizen of the world. Get out there and network on purpose. So what are our five strategies? Strategy number one is start today with an active candidate list. I hope at the end of this video you download the special um, Ultimate Memory Jogger workbook that will help you create that active candidate list and help you with this process. There's great training in there. It's absolutely free. My gift to you, networkmarketingpro.com forward slash memory jogger, okay? So your active candidate list is number one. Number two, constantly expand that list. Number three, raise your awareness. Pay attention to what's going on in the world. Number four, never prejudge as you're building your prospect um, pool of people to talk to. Never prejudge. That's not your job. And number five, network on purpose. Get out there. Meet people. Expand your horizons. Um, become the life of the party, even if it's not your nature. You know, I'm an introverted person. I have to pay attention to this stuff. Otherwise, I'll fall back into my shell. Now, here's the other good news that I'll tell you. Even introverts inside of network marketing, many of the top earners are introverted people by nature. So if you're introverted, don't think that you don't have the ability to be social. You do. And it just drains our batteries a little bit to do it. we got to go recharge. Okay, I understand. So I hope these tips have helped you, a little short course on never running out of people to talk to in network marketing. I hope you got value from it as always. And ladies and gentlemen, my wish for all of you is that you decide to become a network marketing professional, that you decide to go pro, because it is a stone cold fact that we do have a better way. Now let's go tell the world. Everybody have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Take care, bye-bye.